Today, guys, I am at the Yorkshire Card Show up here in Rotherham at the As Asile New York Stadium, I think they're calling it. And I'm gonna be going around the show today to show you guys what's going on. But I also wanna find out what the most valuable Pokemon card item is here at the show. And I've also brought someone along to help today. I brought my dad, see? Look. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Right, let's go. All right, so we are at the entrance of uh, the Yorkshire Card Show. Check it out, look at all the branding. I do like all the little, little uh, what's it, Tudor Rose? No, is that Tudor? Yorkshire Rose? Which one is it? Someone's gonna like point it out to me. I don't know, something like that. It's one of them. And here we are, guys. So it's, uh, yeah, right next to the pitch. It's out there. You've got all the vendors set up. There's quite a bit of sports here, but there's some really nice Pokemon stuff from when we're going around. And hopefully, we can find some big items. Okay, so we've got Asgard collectibles over here with plenty of stuff on show, as we can see. Okay, so question for you. What are the most valuable items you've got for sale today on you? Uh, you've got a couple of slabs there, yeah, I can see. Yeah, currently I think it would be the PSA 7 Typhlosion First Head Neo Genesis. And yeah. uh, the first anniversary Luffy from One Piece first in the BTS uh, 10 as well. What are you thinking, One Piece? Is this yeah. going places? I, I feel One Piece is a great game. Yeah. It's a great game to play. It's highly collectible. It's got the fan base as well. So yeah. yeah, definitely something to pick up. It's something I've been thinking of trying to get into collecting a little bit myself, actually. But I'm not going to lie, I'm a fan from Netflix of yeah. One Piece. <laughs> There's some nice plushies on display, though. Look, we've got the Obrama one. I actually picked that one up myself when I was in Japan. And look at that gentlemanly Pikachu right there. Look at you. All right, we found another Pokemon stand here and it does look like they've got a fair few slabs and stuff. So we'll see what they've got going on as well. What is your most valuable Pokemon item on sale today? What you got? Um, literally, so this is what I'm very unknown, unsure about, but it's yeah. because it's the flame pattern rainbow. Right? Yeah. The pop's quite low on it. Okay. This one's pop 18. See, it's super hard, the reverse holo version, right, as well. Yeah. So really hard to get. The silver as well. They're, yeah, they're yeah, crazy. definitely. And we do like these, is that the winner one? Or yes. just the the winner in a nine as well. Oh, a ten, that'd be even like... Got a whole pack of them. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so we of course have old Quartz Collectible here. And look, they're even filming their own show. Look at them set up with a little camera up there. Little DJI mic going on as well. And there he is. Look at him, you can't miss him. Okay, question. Most valuable item on your stand today. I, I do see a, a Moonbryon down there. Yeah, PSA 9 English Moonbryon 560. That's probably Ooh. the most expensive one in there. Yeah, yeah. And anything else we got in here? This big Hidden Face Charizard? Yeah, hidden Face Charizard, two of them. Tens. Two tens and a Hidden Face Charizard. That's pretty nice. Five twenties. And then we got the... Yeah. 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 Yes. Very nice. They've also got the old little London Worlds Pikachu in here as well. 25 as well. It's not bad, actually. Not bad. We, of course, have got Whatnot over here, guys, with old Jim over there. Hello, Jim. If you don't know, guys, I, of course, stream over on Whatnot. So use my code to download it. £10 credit. Do it. Link. Link. Download. And as you can see, guys, even more sports. But there is actually some Pokemon on this stand over here. So I might ask on this one as well, let's do that. Okay, so Kaboom Cards. Hey buddy, what is your most valuable Pokemon item here? I know you've got a lot of sports. And actually, do you want to give me a most valuable sports card as well while we're here? The online in the bottom. Oh damn. Auto 10 Midnight, very nice. What sort of value? Uh, around two and a half to three grand. Okay. Uh, game worn and set of five. Wow, okay. That is awesome. Out of five as well. Yeah. What about Pokemon. The Psyduck, the Munch, the Munch promo Psyduck. Very nice. Coming in around what are you selling at? Around 900. 900 for that. Very nice. So, I'll tell you something I was quite surprised about is um, I didn't expect there to be so many Pokemon vendors here. And it's actually really good. I know sports is a big thing. The Yorkshire collector himself does a lot of sports and breaks and whatnot. But to actually have so many sports, uh, Pokemon. It's really good and it's a really nice selection of binders and prices are really good at the moment. So shows, highly recommend coming along to these shows guys if you're collecting because you can find some really good deals and you have a chance to negotiate, you can trade, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, I've got to recommend coming to these. And uh, this one as well, if you're up near Rotherham in this area, look out for the Yorkshire Card Show for sure because um, it's been very well run, I have to say. All right, so we've got Kuma cards and it does look like I have a fair amount 
of singles on display. And actually, look at these slabs going in there as well. We're seeing a lot of them. <gasps> Pikachu munch down there as well. Okay, most valuable card, Pokemon card, you're selling today. Sure. What Rickets. is it? Our most valuable one would this, uh, be this screen promo here. Which yes, I did uh, see that. 2,250 pounds. Not too. Yeah, 2,300, 2,400 online, so you're saving a little bit. Yeah, okay. Is that because you're at the show, you normally go a little bit? Or is yeah, that just yeah. your pricing in general? Like? No, well, we try and undercut you a bit, yeah. stuff like that. But if you've got cash today, like we can do two grass. Oh! Dad? <laughs> yeah, the, the most expensive raw card that we've got today is this uh, Moonbrion. Uh, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we've got that at 1,800 pounds today. What, 1,800? And how about the, uh, the Pikachu there? That's 1,000. See, that's a lovely card as well, isn't it? Yeah, if you get a PSA 10 in that, I think it's like 1.82 thousand at the minute. That is beautiful. You guys know some very nice stuff. Thank you so much. Cheers. Now, one thing I very much do like that people have got on is the old Formula One. You're excited for the Formula One, aren't you, Dad? Am, yeah. yeah, look forward to that. And who are you a fan of? Uh, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, why do you have to think about that? Here we go, we're at PM1. So they've got plenty on display. Some absolutely beautiful slabs. They've got singles on display. And then you've also got Sean's plushies over there as well. Hello there. Most valuable Pokemon items. I'm assuming it's going to be some slabs yeah, in here, right? What have you got? Uh, the best collab going. We've yeah. Got, uh, we've got Pikachu and we've got Mario. So if you head around there. Oh, the other side, yeah? yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, Chef. And you're, you're doing uh, five to six on the pair, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? And the individual prices, so you've got the full art. It's about 4K, I think. Yeah, and then the uh, single, I, which I actually like the artwork on that one a lot. It's nice. The hollows are really, really nice. And have you got a favourite? Favourite? Yeah. My cap. Uh, yeah. Uh, one of my favourites is what I just picked up recently. Latios and Latias. Uh, the heart pair. Oh, it's a beautiful card. Yeah, Jack, where you got the Japanese? Japanese oh, yeah. that is gorgeous. And the that is roll, awesome. It's a fan favourite, isn't it? Oh, we like, yes, it is indeed, yeah. Three packs, you want some? Go for two. You can pick any two you like. Do it as a pa battle. Yeah? All right, okay. So we're opening them together. Okay, you ready? What the? Hang on. We got the same start. Okay, here we go. Right. Are we ready? See if we got something behind here. Three, two, one. Oh, look, you got a mouse hole. Let's see if there's something behind it. And oh, okay, mouse got. I'm saying you won that. I mean, you won. And you can keep them all. Here you go. They're all for you. Yeah, yeah, of course. No worries. Enjoy. So we've got Pokey Ryzen. Let's have a look. So they've got some Digimon on display, some Pokemon. Look, you've got the Karna going. And they do have some slabs. So I think we can ask them the question as well. So, most valuable Pokemon item today. What have you got? Out of everything, I'd probably yeah. say the Shining Cards, but Shining Charizard out of those. Oh, wait, so. you've got four there. Yeah, so and the Charizard. It's got, what sort of value have you got putting on this as, as it stands? Five, six hundred pounds. Five, six hundred. Very nice. That is awesome. Thank you. Hey guys, Hi. I promised I'd drop this bit in the vlog, didn't I? I said I'd do it. Here it is. Look, there's you guys. There, you're in the video. <laughs> okay, we have the lovely Car Galaxy here. Hey guys. Now they don't have any big slabs on show, but we love Car Galaxy. And look, they always come stocking the binders with all this modern in here as well. So if you're looking for any fillers or anything, we've got vintage, we've got that. And you look like, am I right guys? If you start doing sports now, is that quite new? We've got lots. So. Yeah, I've seen a lot on your Instagram at the moment, a lot of sports on the go, which is cool, and a lot of stickers. I know you like your sticker stuff, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, yes, definitely. But they have plenty on the go, and of course, Seal, 100% recommend checking out Card Galaxy for any of your stuff you need from latest releases and stuff like that. They're fantastic, so cheers, guys. So we are at Retro Genie now. We're gonna see what they've got, but as you can see, they have so much stuff on the go, like these slabs. Look at the mad stuff, the Harry Potter packs. So. Most valuable item you are selling today, Pokemon first. Pokemon first yeah. is probably the Grand Party Slab. Oh yes, so Grand Party Slab, what sort of value are you putting on this then? We're looking at about 700. Yeah. Pound. And then anything else you've got that's big in here? Well, you've got, because you've got some really cool stuff. Francis Ngolnu, about to fight Anthony Joshua. We have numbered to 100, on card, auto, signed. Wow. In the next 12 months, if he beats Anthony Joshua, we reckon 1,200 quid. It'll that's go. crazy. That's a Jackass. Oh, my, oh, wait, this is from, so if any of you don't know, if you've seen the latest Jackass movie, oh, there's a scene in it, in the back here, where he punches him in the stomach, doesn't he, one of the characters. Yeah. So this isn't a UFC card, this is a Jackass, Jackass. signed card. Zero. 
That is very unique. And then it would be criminal not to show you mm -hmm. the 1977 C3PO error, error card. Right, error card. Can you spot the error? Uh, oh! <laughs> they, call Wait. It, they call it the Golden Rod error card. <laughs> the Golden Rod error card. When Tops realised, they quickly reprinted it <laughs> correctly. <laughs> What sort of value is it on that anyway? We're about 240. 240 for the golden rod. The golden rod. We like it. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Look at these. I love this. Look at the finish on that. That's really cool. So here we go, guys. We're at Geodude's Cars. They've got a few slabs and other bits on display. But the question is, what's your most valuable item that you're selling today, guys? What you got? Yeah, and shining. Oh, damn. Wow. Coming in at five thousand pounds in a PSA 10 shining zone that that's that's a bit of me that is gorgeous that is nice okay so we're at gem collectibles now question is guys now you've also got a mixture of sports as well as Pokemon and you've got some interesting things I can already see something over here you seen this dad look at this it's a uh... PSA 10 <laughs> that's crazy look at the size of the thing and does it rattle around in there by any chance it if you back does not. oh it doesn't actually I'm impressed but the real question is most valuable items I'll tell you what as you've got some sport I'll take a sport and a Pokemon okay. then. Okay. yeah absolutely okay. so the sport yeah got a Tom Brady autograph okay right. it's... it's BGS yeah Brady 9 and that's at 3000 3000 right. for the GOAT for the greatest of all time yeah <laughs> all right you reckon for much longer I, it'll hold off my hope it'll yeah hold off my <laughs> And there's a Pokemon, we've got the classic Poncho, Poncho Pikachu. The Ray Ray Poncho Pikachu. Absolutely. That is a gorgeous card, that one there. Okay, so here's a cool one we found. We've got just TCG, but they seem to do Pokemon and One Piece. Most valuable items. I know you're obviously going to have some big One Piece stuff up there, but what is your most valuable Pokemon and One Piece? What are you saying? What do you reckon is your most valuable stuff today? One piece I've probably seen in Nami because I bought yeah. it myself. Oh yeah? So there was valuable in that. The unweighted one is like 700 now. Really? Yeah. So it's climbing up. Yeah, it's one piece is really... That's the first print, so... Yeah, what's your thoughts on One Piece as a TCG? I think it's doing really well. Better, yeah. Better than most other TCG. Most valuable Pokemon item you've got on display? PSA 10. Oh! Van Gogh Pikachu PSA 10, that is a very nice card. All right, so question for you, Retro Raffles. What are the most valuable items on your stool today? What you got? Right, so probably the got? most valuable slab that I have yeah. is the Rayquaza Gold Star PSA 9. That is beautiful, yes. Uh, one sold the other week for 7.5 in a deal. So. Damn! Uh, so and then I see these though. Are these the, so these are the Masaki promos yeah, as PSA well? Yeah, PSA 9, the set of them, yep. That Gengar is popular. What's the value That's, on the Gengar? Everyone's been asking about that one. So the Gengar, I paid 1.2. I'm not too sure what it sits at, at the moment. Yeah. But it is very popular and hard to grade. Uh, but I do see something else you got here. Yeah, we've got now there's the some value here. first edition fossil box. <laughs> yep. Nine and a half, ten K. Yep. And a sealed um, base set, base set box. Yeah. So about twelve and a half. Here's another expensive one. Ooh. A sealed crystal. That's about seven grand. Wow. Is that really? Yeah. Damn. That is amazing. Yeah, it's a grail, mate. It's the lowest printed game. Uh, Pokemon game, main game. Wow, now that is cool. So we are at Radiant Chain Collectibles. Obviously a lot of Pokemon stuff here, but I want to know, I'm trying to find out what the most valuable item is for sale today, or at one on someone's stand at the Yorkshire Card Show. What have you guys got? What's your big item? Probably the Charizard. The Charizard, the base set. Eight. Very nice. And what's the value you're putting on us? 500 pounds on that as well, in an eight. That's not bad. What well, slightly newer cert as well on that. That's pretty cool. I like that. And the final one of the day, we've got Gengar C89. And they've got some very unique stuff on display in this part, that is for sure. Hey, check out these, all these, what are these called? Hanafuda. Hanafuda. Hanafuda, so. Hanafuda they're cards. They're based on artworks from 18. Look at them. Before Nintendo got into electricals, they sold playing cards. Back wow. In 1890-ish. That's crazy. Based on the same artworks of the decks that they brought out. Look at that, that is mad. So, most valuable card you have 
on display today? What is it again? We see, you've probably got a few in here that are quite similar values, right? But yeah, what's the one? Be... Tell you what, show us two. Well, it's not the, mo it's not the most expensive car, but that's one of my favorite cars in this display. That is very gorgeous. So I like this. This is the Lancia yeah. Charizard yeah. Japanese. Very nice. In a 10 Lugia as well. Yeah, the Lugia. With the Lugia back. Yeah. In that is gorgeous. Um, in coming well, in at six, them, 600 as well on that yeah. one. Awesome. Um, we've got the Zard with the Zard back. Oh, now that is very cool. The Probably Zard at 600. Yep. Probably going to get that cross graded. That I is gorgeous. There we go, Yorkshire Card Show all wrapped. It's actually been a couple of days since I was at the show and I had a little bit of time to think. And yeah, I've got to say, really extremely well run show. And there's plenty there for card collectors of sports, Pokemon, and you're seeing some other TCGs in there as well, which is really awesome. And of course, the most expensive item we saw there on the day was that base set booster box. But that Gold Star Ray Quasar was something special as well. And some of those sports cards, the R9 one, absolutely love that. But guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite item was out of all the stuff we managed to see at the Yorkshire Card Show today. Let me know if you were there and stuff like that and you saw yourself in the video. Go and drop some comments down below. Make sure to check out some of my other vlogs. I recently went and bought a collection of Japanese cards, including graded ones, and I'll chuck the video down here to go and check it out. It's really good watch. My wife actually helped me film that one, and you can compare the videography between that, my wife and my dad helping me out on this one. And uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tune in for all the stuff we've got coming up. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.